you have a powerful PC. Or you think so. Anyway, your PC's performance should be enough to run War Thunder. But it's not the case. War Thunder lags and micro stutters to the point the game is unplayable. You seem to remember it worked fine in Windows 10, but when you installed Windows 11 on the same machine, the game stutters. Or it worked fine before the latest game update. The general consensus online is the game is so poorly optimized and all the problems are on War Thunder side, so you cannot do anything about them. And yes, I know you are supposed to pronounce this War Thunder, however, given the quality of the game programming, the correct name should be War Thunduri. And then follows the usual tinkering with in game graphics settings, forcing it to run in DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, reverting to very old graphic drivers, disabling hardware accelerated graphics scheduler in Windows, disabling Windows game DVR and game optimizations, and all those kind of things that don't help, including limiting your power consumption and clock rates of your GPU and VRAM. But what if I tell you that there is nothing wrong with the game, or your hardware, or the drivers, or Windows in general? The problem that prevents the game from running smoothly is you, since it's you who installed a ton of useless garbage onto your computer, basically covering your powerful PC with fecal matter and happily floating in it. Just look how much bloatware is running constantly in the background on your computer. Do you really need all of this crap? No, seriously, do you really need all of this? Well, quitting, I mean shutting down all those apps so there is nothing showing in your tray, immediately rectifies the stutter issue and the game starts to run butterly smooth on the same hardware. But uh, I have a high performance computer and I want it to run more than one thing at a certain time. Okay, let's kill those things one by one to determine what causes the issue. And actually, just killing Discord alone greatly improves the stutter situation, and killing Chrome improves it even more. And this actually gives a clue what is going on. Those programs are fighting for your GPU. And that's what is causing starter issues in the game, since multiple programs try to use the GPU at the same time. Well, but obviously, you need Discord to communicate with your teammates while playing War Thunder or any other online game. So if you still want to run Discord, but you want to get rid of the micro starters in the game, you need to disable hardware acceleration in Discord. Hardware acceleration is when certain functions are offloaded from your CPU to GPU. Discord has this feature in the settings and you need to disable it. Google Chrome browser, as well as any other browser based on the same Chromium engine, and browsers based on other engines, such as Firefox, do have an option in the settings to use hardware acceleration, that means use your GPU, and you need to find and disable that setting. Don't worry, you probably will not notice any performance difference while using Discord or your browser. So in reality, this hardware acceleration results in the opposite. It actually slows down your computer and causes stuttering. There is one more thing about Discord. It has built-in streaming. And some actually use Discord to stream their games. And as soon as you activate stream in Discord, the game starts to stutter. Well, usually professional streamers don't use the same PC they game on to actually manage the stream. In most cases, they have a secondary PC which manages the stream, and it has a capture card which takes video input 
from their main gaming PC into stream. However, most casual streamers won't have it. So if you want to use Discord for streaming, but you don't want your game to stutter, what you need to do is to disable, you need to disable this feature in Discord voice and video settings. It's called our advanced technology to capture your screen. So this is some kind of proprietary DLL made by Discord, which injects itself into your GPU driver to capture frames. And probably that's what is causing the stutters. So disable this feature if you want to stream through Discord and still be able to play the game normally. So Discord is the main suspect that may cause stuttering in War Thunder. And if you have your browser open in the background and the browser has the hardware acceleration enabled, it may also cause stuttering. However, this is far less common than Discord. Other programs that you constantly run in background also support hardware acceleration. For example, Steam Client. You need to disable hardware acceleration in Steam. Since Steam Client is basically a web browser, it certainly doesn't need graphics acceleration. Another very popular bloatware that may cause issues is Wallpaper Engine. It also has hardware acceleration for its UI and you need to disable this feature or shut Wallpaper Engine altogether while you're playing games. Another application that may cause stuttering in games is, ironically, the new NVIDIA app. If you experience stuttering in War Thunder and you have an NVIDIA GPU, try shutting down NVIDIA app completely. If this fixes the issue, but you still want to use NVIDIA app, the thing that is probably causing issues is NVIDIA Shadow Play. So this is the screen recording feature of NVIDIA application, and there is also a sub-feature which is called Instant Replay. You may try to disable at least Instant Replay and see if it will make any difference. These are the most common apps that may cause problems, but as I said, any application that uses GPU acceleration may and will cause stuttering issues with video games. As for Windows itself, updating Windows 11 from build 23H2 to build 25H2, which is the latest at the moment I'm making this video, seems to be beneficial performance-wise. So if you're experiencing stuttering in video games, specifically in War Thunder, you may consider either updating your Windows or better yet, clean installing Windows by deleting everything on your system drive and fresh installing Windows from a bootable thumb drive. So this is how you fix the micro stuttering issue in War Thunder. Once again, the issue is not caused by the game itself or its updates or your video drivers or your hardware or even your operating system. The issue with microstutters is other programs, most notably Discord and Chrome browser, which fight for your GPU time. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, jingle bells.